In school, we are taught all about the effects of drugs. Don't do cocaine, they say. It's one of the worst there is. Heroin will shoot you out of this world, but it's a bitch when you fall back into it. And meth is the worst of them all. A person is never the same again. We're told that at first, drugs will make you feel like the king of the sky, riding on top of a star-studded dragon, but the flight never lasts for long because you are never actually in control of the beast. A 360 spiral and 180 twist, and you're sent plummeting down into the never-ending darkness of your own worst nightmares. We learn about every high and the lowest of lows, and they make it seem as if the only thing that can take you that far down is a needle or a lighter. So you can understand my confusion, then, that your talk screen is clear. I can't comprehend how you could possibly be this low without the drugs to drop you. They didn't teach me this in school. They never said that sometimes people are just born inside the depths of depression and left there to claw themselves out. They thoroughly explain every telltale sign of a person on drugs and how people wear those signs like elaborate masks, but not the single teacher has ever told me that the mask of depression is stitched into the skin. Maybe that's why the thing you hate most is your own reflection. I'm trying to understand how the blade felt penetrating your skin, maybe you were just trying to carve out the sadness within, maybe you, you were just infatuated with the idea that rain will wash away all of the pain if you let it and you knew that blood would trickle down your side like water drops on windows. We used to watch the rain with our noses pressed against the cool glass. We would have to move a few inches every minute because our breath would fog our view, but we were just waiting for the sky to stop storming so we would have the first glimpse of the rainbow. So if that was what you were looking for when the knife broke through your flesh, then I wish I would have known because I would have hand-painted the back of your eyelids with all of the colors I own. Huh. So instead of having to face your nightmares, you could fall asleep to the colorful sketches of the best recollections of our childhood memories of the days. We would dance in the puddles and race to the tips of the trees so to see who could outstretch their fingertips the farthest reaching, reaching for something that seemed to be worth any fall. We were so happy. Or maybe that was just me, and you were just the one who was always willing to give the piggybacks over scraped knees and broken hearts because I've never had enough tools in my kit to heal hurt bigger than a band-aid, but my shoulders are strong and I can hold you. So maybe it's your turn to hop on my back and I'll carry you as far as I can. Thank you.